Hi students. In this lecture, I am going to discuss problems based on the concepts till now what we have learned. See the first one. A thin wire ring of red SR has an electric charge Q. What will be the increment of the force stretching the wire if a point charge Q0 is placed at the ring's center? Right. So initially having a, a thin wire ring, red S is our charge Q. So we are placing <coughs> A charge Q0 at its center, then what happens is the force in the ring will change. It will increase now. He's asked now what is the increment of that force, right? Let us see how we are going to solve this one. And this question is taken from Irido. So condition given that it is a ring, it is a ring which is uniformly charged, a ring which is uniformly charged, so it's a charge Q, we are placing a charge Q naught at the center, because of this charge tension in the string will change. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or do one thing. Let us assume initially ring was just tight. Ring was initially just tight. That means initial tension was zero. Okay. Now because of this charge, let us take tension is T. That means now increment becomes it is T minus zero. That is T. Okay. Then see how we solve this one. So here the ring is now in equilibrium. Ring is in equilibrium. That means ring is not moving. So if you take any part of the ring on that part, net force must be equal to zero. Then see what happens. I'm taking a small part on the ring. Let us take a small part on the ring just to make it visible. I am showing you here a little bit larger. It is now take it as DQ. Sorry, D theta. You can focus now this small part. Okay. On this part, by remaining part of the ring, force will be like this along the tangent, tangent T and tangent T, yeah. right? And if you observe tension components, they will cancel in this direction. Remaining will be, it is a 2T sine D theta by 2, which is towards the center. So I hope you are knowing this result, right? We have done this number of times. Okay. So we have taken components towards the center. That is now 2t sin d theta by 2. Now this force should be balanced by the repulsive force by q naught on this element. That is k into q naught. See, charge of this element, take it as dq. Okay, now dq equal to lambda into r d theta, right? So I'm writing here lambda into r d theta k into q1 q2 by r square by r square, right? Now, since we have taken very small element, d theta will be very small. Therefore, this is taken as 2t d theta by 2 that is equal to k q naught lambda r d theta 
by r square. So one r gets cancelled here, and two gets cancelled. D theta also gets cancelled. Remaining t equal to k means one by four pi epsilon naught q naught lambda means q by two pi r. How much charge of the unit length? Q by two pi r lambda and d theta right cancel here d theta and d theta remain tension equal to k q naught lambda lambda by r you are having here one more r it right? one by r cross like once k one by four pi epsilon naught q naught in the place of lambda q by two pi r okay next one by r this is the final answer Okay, so what we have taken, assume initially string was just tight, means tension zero. Now final value is T. Now they're asking increment. Increment means final value minus initial value, which is nothing but T minus zero. That's why this is a final answer, right? Okay, now see the next problem. <clears throat> This is a previous IIT problem given in 1999 for 10 marks. Okay. Let us see once. A non conducting disk of radius R, sorry, radius A, and uniform cost to surface charge density sigma is placed on the ground. With its axis vertical, given non conducting disc radius is having uniform cost to surface charge density sigma is placed okay, on the ground with its axis vertical. A particle of mass m and positive charge q is dropped along the axis of the disc from a height capital H with zero initial velocity and here condition is q by m equal to what is it q by m equal to 4 epsilon naught g by sigma okay so now we have to focus find the value of h what is it find the value of h if the particle just reaches the disk, if the particle just reaches the disk, sketch the potential energy of the particle as a function of its height from its equilibrium position. It is from its equilibrium position. So equilibrium means it refers to stable equilibrium means where potential energy is minimum right okay first of all we have to make a diagram for this one okay then see what we can do here first of all condition is just reaches the disk just reaches disk means first we have to focus on how to get potential on the axis of disk right so let us calculate that first. Okay. Let us now calculate. First of all, potential due to this model. Then we can solve the problem. So why I'm taking potential means if this is now disk, okay, release a point charge from a height h, height is h, charge q, mass m. Let us take this point, this is take it as point A. Center is now B, releasing from A. Now condition just reaches, just reaches means 
if you observe, while charge is moving down, it is losing its gravitational potential energy. And that loss converts into increase in the electric potential energy. I am repeating, this loss in gravitational potential energy converts into increase in the electric potential energy. That means we have to write, we have to write M G H should be equal to charge into potential difference. That is, I can write here V B minus V A. Okay. So first we should know what is the potential on the axis. Okay. Then we can get what is the corresponding height. Okay. Okay. Now see how to get potential on the axis of the disk. This is now disk. We want to calculate on the axis at some point, suppose distance equal to x. Remember, this disk can be taken as a combination of rings. What is it? This disk can be taken as a combination of rings. So I'm taking here a ring of radius is small r. Let us take here radius is capital R. Disk radius capital R. Now take here a disk of radius, sorry, a ring of radius is small r. This is a small r and this width equal to dr. So because of that ring on its axis, potential will be. Potential will be dv equal to k dq by square root of r square plus x square r square plus x square, right? So in this dq value, in this dq value, how much means? Sigma is given, right? Charge per unit area into corresponding area. That is 2 pi r into dr. Okay. That we have to substitute here. Then we have to integrate from where to where? <clears throat> from r equal to 0 to up to capital R. Right? Substitute now this value. Then see what we get here. Substitute that k into in the place of that dq sigma into 2 pi r dr by square root of r square plus x square. Okay, right. Now see carefully this calculation part. So we have to calculate now here R dr, right? By square root of R square plus X square. Now simplifying this, what we are going to get. So V equal to Take in the place of a 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. <clears throat> then this becomes now sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Remaining integral r dr by square root of r square plus x square. Right? Now see how to simplify this, okay? How to simplify this. So here what we can do is, let us consider, consider R square plus X square equal to Y, okay? Now here we require DR value. What we require? DR. 
Therefore, to get dr, we are now differentiating this one. Okay, differentiate this. Then dy equal to, since x is a constant, see why x is a constant? Because we are focusing potential at this point. So x is not changing, okay? We are changing only R value because we have to get potential due to all rings. Then sum of all those gives potential due to disk at this point. Okay. Right. So X is a constant. Dy equal to 2R into dr. Okay. So in the place of R dr, I can substitute dy by 2. Then that becomes that becomes v equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught integral in the place of that I have taken dy by 2 dy by 2 by it is root y okay okay now see here what we get I am taking here so this is um, y power minus 1 by 2, right? Sigma by 2 epsilon naught integral. I can take 1 by 2 also outside. Integral dy by root y. So it is y power minus 1 by 2, right? So this becomes now sigma by 4 epsilon naught y power minus 1 by 2 plus 1, right? It becomes now 2 root y. What is that? 2 root y. That is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Now take limits. Take limits. y value how much? When x is 0, y value. So here we are writing limits, okay, for this one. When x is 0, y values are, sorry, not x0. When r value 0, y value x square, right? Next. When r value capital R, y value. It is now square root of r square plus x square minus it is x. This is now potential on the axis of a disk. So now we are going to use this result in this problem. Now see carefully. Right. So coming to here, mgh equal to q into vb minus va. What is now vb? See the value of vb. Substitute the value here. x equal to 0. That gives a potential. That gives a potential at b, right? So vb. So vb equal to, I am taking x value 0. Let us call this as equation 1 x is 0 in equation 1, 0, 0, gamma, sorry, sigma r, sigma r by 2 epsilon naught and va, va value, if I am taking it is h, right? Okay, if I am taking it is h, then see what we get. So VB value, so we got VB right, it is VA value, sigma by 2 epsilon naught, square root of R square plus H square minus H, okay. Now substitute these values in this equation, okay, right. Let us call this is equation 2. Substitute now VB and VA in equation 
two, and then see what we get. Now substitute these values here. And then what we are going to get here. M G H M G H equal to M G H equal to we are given the value of a sigma by M right there I am writing here see it is not okay, first substitute the values here Q Q into sigma by 2 epsilon naught into Right, that value here, right? Now we are given the value relation between EM, Q, and sigma, right? A relation is given here. I am taking that relation in this one, then see what we get. So this is now GH, GH equal to, it is now becoming 2G, okay? See carefully, that becomes now 2G. 2G. Now this is equal to R plus H R plus H minus square root of R square plus H square. See calculation part. What we are writing here. Okay. So VB minus VA. We have taken that. So here G gets cancelled. It is now H by 2. H by 2. Now simplify this part. By simplifying this, we are going to get H equal to, it is 4R by 3. Okay. That means we have to project, we have to release the object from a height of 4R by 3. Then it is able to reach point B, means it just reaches, just. So your key point is that loss in the gravitational potential energy is converting into increase in the electric potential energy. And since we are not knowing what is the potential on the axis of disk, we are making calculation for that. And remember this result we are going to use now in coming problems. Okay. So we got the value of H. And let's see what we have to find. So we have to plot a graph, right? How potential energy changing, isn't it? Let us see what we can do here. So I'm erasing this uh, remaining things. This is a calculation of potential right due to this. Right. Okay, so now what we're writing here, potential energy, first of all, we have to identify, we have to identify, let me raise this also. Right. First of all, we want to identify where is now equilibrium position for that. Write down what is now potential energy as a function of height. Potential energy as a function of height. It is MGH. That is gravitational potential energy. Next, potential energy because of electric field. That is a Q into V, right? Q into V potential that is m g h plus q into potential see how much we got here this fellow right so sigma by 
sigma by 2 epsilon naught when x value is h x value is h square root of r square plus h square minus h so we got potential energy as a function of height h and now let us differentiate this differentiate this with respect to h to get to where potential energy is minimum okay so make it equal to zero then see how much we are going to get so this comes out to be h equal to a by root 3. okay a by root 3 now substitute this value okay that means a by root 3 means earlier see relation what we got h equal to 4 r right how much we got it is h equal to so this is here not yet is I r right wait it here radius is r radius is r it is r by r by root 3 and here we got h value 4 r by 3 okay getting it that means now this is more than this value or uh, to avoid confusion here what you can do is let us take this as some h dash okay h dash to avoid confusion h dash h dash equal to r by root 3 now substitute this value substitute this value in that potential energy then see how much we get potential energy when height is when height is h okay when height is h potential energy will be so that comes out to be it is 2 m g r right see carefully in this one i am taking in the place of h dash it is h h value how much 4 r by 3 right so substitute this value that value in this one okay 4 r by 3 then that value comes out to be it is 2 m g r right now if i am taking h value it is h dash then that value comes out to be it is a root 3 root 3 m g r okay that means this h, h equal to r by root 3 is corresponding to corresponding to stable equilibrium position this is a stable equilibrium position okay and if you want to plot a graph if you want to plot a graph so potential energy versus height it will be u versus h as a function of h so that comes out to be is almost okay it is almost like this okay where this is a corresponding to h equal to r by root 3 right and this is now when h equal to wait wait i think i have to write it here i have taken here something wrong this is h equal to zero let me correct h equal to 0 that is 2 mgr okay no? h equal to 0 let me cross check once h to 0 this is 0 right and this is now 0 0 this is r so it is now q into sigma by 2 epsilon naught into r now that comes out to be it is 2 mgr so this is the potential energy when it is at the center of the disk, okay, not height h. 
okay na so this is now at the center of the disk where h equal to 0 this is now equilibrium position okay so this is a graph as a function of a height as a function of a height from center of the disk that means from center to means center of the disk to up to a height r by root 3 potential will decrease okay i am repeating from center of the disk to up to a height of r by root 3 potential decreases and after that potential increases so this is now minimum potential edge which is known as stable equilibrium position okay right that is now question number 22 okay